guests this morning, you know, is Dr. Breakthrough. I always say I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. And when people follow the breakthrough prescription, God Almighty provides the breakthrough they desire and deserve. And as Dr. Breakthrough, I basically have been in the birthing room to see more people experience and help them birth their, their, their breakthrough, right? Well, the lady I'm bringing on today, this little master internet marketer, Alicia Little, uh, this lady literally has helped me have breakthroughs in incredible areas. Matter of fact, she's a leader in the internet marketing industry, and I know at one year, uh, $10 million in one year through their internet business. For 18 years, she's been working, and for many of those years, behind the scenes. Now, she left her J-O-B 18 years ago as an environmental justice specialist in the White House, and she's helped thousands of people around the world learn the power of the Internet. Uh, unlike any other speakers, she not just trains and speaks, she knows the back end and has done it inside out. I mean, this lady, Alicia Little, has a heart as big as Texas, and, of course, she now resides in Jamaica, Nadia and I love it when we get to go there and speak. Um, and I've spoken for her in Florida and Michigan and all over. But uh, in the internet marketing and social media arena, she's one of the who's who. She's one of the most respected, knowledgeable, and genuine women in the industry. And she's known as the go-to person for the right resources, for networking, and for connections. Um, she's traveled the world from Asia to the United Kingdom, to Canada, to Africa, Australia, New Zealand, the Caribbean, as well as all over the United States, teaching people how to leverage the power of the Internet and turn their knowledge into profits. Uh, she advocates the laptop lifestyle. Um, I tell you what, she has a passion uh, working with entrepreneurs and for creating strategies and systems to help them leverage the Internet to create financial success and personal freedom. So I want you to get your pens out. I want you to get ready. Matter of fact, text somebody, post on Facebook. We have got a very powerful speaker, Miss Alicia Little, who makes a big difference. Hey, Alicia, how you doing? <laughs> Dr. Stan, what an introduction. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Hey, well, Nadia and I, again, we love, I mean, your, your spirit, your humility, and yet the power of, I mean, I can't believe, like, just anybody can name most of the top leaders around, and somehow, some way, you've either assisted them, worked with them, or something. A lot of times, it was behind the scenes, and now you're, you're out there now speaking and training. And so, we want to turn the floor loose to you, and, uh, hey, I've got my <laughs> pen and paper. I'm ready. Because uh, note takers are money makers, and as I teach, action takers are bigger money makers. So, hey, help <laughs> us have another breakthrough with the internet. <laughs> All right, Doctor Break you, Breakthrough. Thank you so much, and guys, I am so excited to be here with you today on this uplift leadership call. When Doctor Stan invited me and told me about um, all of you and your mission and Coach 100K, I was excited and empowered and said, all right, what I'm going to teach you guys today is really how to become an influencer so that when you're ready to funnel people into Uplift, that you have a following. Because when you're an influencer, when you create your own brand, build your own product, and tell your people to follow you, they will follow. So the question is, how do you do that? Now, when we started off, um, Coach 100K, he was talking about Mike Murdoch. And I know some of you might be familiar with um, Mike Murdoch. But what, what that reminded me of when he mentioned him was the amazing amount of content that Mike Murdoch has. And if you Google him or, you know, look at his store, um, you will see that I don't even know. I know that he has maybe 70 songs that he's published. He's got hundreds and hundreds of books and, you know, short books, but an amazing amount of content. And one of the things that Mike Murdoch always says, it's one of my favorite quotes from him, he says, the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. So for you, I would like for you to commit to have a daily routine of building and growing your own brand right? Building and growing your own brand. So 
Um, when I first got started in internet marketing, my ex-husband and I, this is back in the year 2000, we had an email list and we sent an email out to this list every day for one year. And there was nothing that they could buy. It was completely free. <laughs> it was just a free email list. And trust me, if we forgot to send out the daily newsletter, we got emails with people saying, where's the daily newsletter? Where's my newsletter? You didn't send it. And we're thinking, geez, it's a free newsletter. We can't even take a day off. But what happened was that we were patient, right? We were patient. We sent out the email every day for a year. We grew our brand, grew our following. And then when it was time to sell something, when it was time to push the people to take action on something, we sold 280 products on the first day that we opened our doors to sell something, and the product was $297. And that really taught me that always giving, building, you know, we really built that email list every single day, will pay off in the long run. So how do you grow your own brand? And what platform should you grow your own brand on? So as you're getting ready for Uplift, I want you to pay attention to these four social media networks and build your fans and followings on these networks. Here's a really good example. I launched a new product in December. And when I launched it, I posted on my Facebook page. I've got 5,000 friends on my personal Facebook page, a few thousand more following. I've got fan pages, that sort of stuff. But when I posted on my Facebook page, people started commenting, I bought it, I'm in, thank you, this is an awesome course. And if you go and you, you can find me on Facebook, Alicia Little, but if you go and you look at those comments, you will see that had I not posted it on Facebook, I would have missed probably 30 to 40 sales and the inbox messages that started coming in and other people wanting to promote it. So what I do is I build my followings on these social networks in order to have my fans purchase my product or download something or push them to wherever I want to push them outside of these social networks. So here's your list of the four most important social networks that I want you to build on. Number one is Facebook. Number two is Instagram. Number three is LinkedIn. And number four is YouTube. And here's the thing. I don't care if you post about your personal life, where you've been. You don't even have to do that. The purpose of you posting on these networks is to grow your brand, <laughs> to grow your brand so that as Uplift opens the doors, you can tell people, here's what I want you to do. Go do it. This is what I did. Here's an example. So when you're growing your brand, the first thing that you need to think about is that content is king. So what do I mean by that? <laughs> I mean that when we're looking at social media, we need to be posting content on social media. And a great example of someone who is extremely good at posting content at social on social media is Dr. Stan Harris, Dr. Breakthrough. If you're not following him on Facebook, do it now. Write that down in your notes. Write that down in your notes. All right, everybody wrote that down? <laughs> All right, great. Because he posts a lot of really great content, videos. Um, you know, he does a lot of write-ups. They're very motivational. And if you look at Dr. Stan and what he posts, he posts these four things. Write this down. Motivational content. Motivational content is important. Entrepreneurial content, right? How to be an entrepreneur, how to push it, you know, how to live that life. The next thing are life tips. So different, we, or we call them life hacks, <laughs> different ways to make your life better. And then family tips. Um, so they, the family tips can be different things, and you can let people into your lives in different ways. But because Uplift is a family-friendly network, it's nice to put that in as well. So motivational, entrepreneurial, life tips, and family tips are the four type of content that you're going to look at posting. Now, here's a little tip for you if you're having trouble thinking of, what to post, what to write. I don't want you to overthink it. On these calls every morning, you have got Coach 100K and Dr. Breakthrough spewing some of the greatest content. I mean, just the amount of notes that I took 
in the 10 minutes that Coach 100K was talking, you know, today on social media, I'm going to retell the story that he told about Dexter Yeager. And could you do the same thing? Absolutely. Your social media post, hey, I was on uh, the Uplift Leadership Call, and Coach 100K was talking about Dexter Yeager. As I researched him, here's what I found out. It, you know, and then talk about it and ask people to comment and have a conversation. But really, you could get your content from the day or for a week just in the first 10 minutes of these leadership calls. The next thing that I want you to do, so the first thing I want you to focus on is building your content on these social platforms. The second thing is connections. So if you've got no one following you, then you don't have anyone to push in the direction that you want them to go. So find and reach out to people and add them as friends on your personal Facebook page. Follow people on Instagram so that they'll follow you back. Reach out to your connections on LinkedIn so they will connect with you on that platform. And when you post videos on YouTube, ask people to subscribe. Always grow your connections. It's very important. The more people that are following you, the bigger you become as an influencer and the more likely you are to then have people to go where you need them to go. The second thing is, you know, so you're going to add those people that are friends. Also search and find people. Find people that you went to school with, in your current job, in your past jobs. And remember the goal. The goal is to build influence so you can move people where you want them to go. All right. So number one, we talked about content. Number two, we talked about connections. Now we're going to talk about engagement. So for engagement, I want you to think about when you post something on social media and someone comments, talk to them, build that relationship. Engagement builds relationships. So if you post about, um, to, you know, something that Coach 100K said this morning and you're posting it on Facebook and people are commenting, if you don't comment back to their comments, you are not building a relationship. When you build relationships with people, they feel like they know you, they like you, and they trust you. So always look to build that um, base of people who know, like, and trust you, okay? Now, how do you write some good content? What kind of things would you write about, and where do you get content ideas from? So when I'm writing content, because, you know, I'm always writing content for social media, blog posts, that type of thing, I always am looking at writing a really great headline or title that gets people to be interested. And this is especially important for YouTube. So when you're writing something on YouTube, start off with the word how-to in your video. Think about doing a how-to video. And again, this can be motivational, it can be about being an entrepreneur, it can be life tips, and it can be family tips. But always think of the ultimate goal. I am building my brand so that I can influence more people to join Uplift. You got it? I am building my brand so that I can influence more people to join Uplift. So what type of content would people like to see? And where are you going to find this content within yourself as well? So here's what I like to do, and I want you to write this down. It's very simple. Just here's the first two words, how to, right? So think about that. How to build a blog in under three minutes. <laughs> how to um, build a team without breaking your budget. How to, you know, so think about the word how to, and then sort of at the end of that sentence, Add the word without and then break any objections that people might have, right? So how to build a blog without spending $100, right? Or you can um, also break that objection by making it seem like it's going to be done in a short time frame or less for less money than they thought. So how to build a blog in under three minutes. So that's breaking the objection that it takes forever to build a blog. So think about that. The next thing I want you to do is to think about numbers. 
So we all, the way that our brain works, we like to know that there is a start and an end. <laughs> so if I'm going to say the 10 steps to building a big team, you know that there's 10 steps and you're going to read the 10 steps. If you just write building a big team, I mean, that headline is not bad, but it's not as enticing as the 10 steps. So I like to do 10 steps three steps, seven steps. I find that those numbers work well. So a three, seven, ten work well when you're writing these kind of stuff. So the, the other thing to do is to think about words that are really going to make people feel like they're getting something from you. So it could be breakthrough, like three steps to your breakthrough. Hey, or doctor breakthrough. Like you're, you're thinking about that word and what it means to you in your life. But you can also use words like formula, write that down. Formula is a really good word and blueprint is a really good word. So whether you say the three-step formula for achieving greater success in life, right? The step seven-step blueprint for achieving greater success in life. You guys see how that works? Now, I want to give you my... I don't even know what I would call it, maybe my secret word that really pulls people in to listen to what you have to say and to say yes when you ask them a question. And it is the word deserve. Write that word down, deserve. <laughs> when we talk to people, we're going to ask them questions like, do you deserve a six-figure business? Do you, do you feel that you deserve a six-figure business? What are they going to answer to that question? Yes, absolutely. Of course I do. What are you talking about, Alicia? Of course I deserve a six-figure business, right? So when you use that word, you can pull people in to now listening to the next thing that you have to say. So imagine a post up on, I don't know, Facebook, Instagram, even posting it on LinkedIn or doing a video that says, do you deserve a six-figure business in 2019? Or do you feel like you deserve a better life in 2019? If you do, comment below, my mission is to help you. People are going to comment, yes, I do. <laughs> of course I do. And then you're going to message them and inbox them. This is a great way to pull people into your network so that you can send them to where, where you want them to go. I've seen this work um, across the board in social media. For people who do it right, they build big teams. They build big followings. They build big list. And what we'll talk about tomorrow is really building an email list <laughs> so that as you build up and build up and build up and you coll you're collecting people's email addresses, even phone numbers, name, phone, email addresses, when it's time, you will email them those emails that will convert them into members of Uplift under you, right? So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Now, one of the things that I want to leave you with, because I know I only have two minutes, is why am I telling you to go on all these social networks, build your brand, and really reach out there as far as possible? Because I want you to hook as many fish as possible, right? So when I was younger, uh, and I still love to fish, but when I was younger, I loved to go fishing. It was my favorite hobby. And when I first went fishing with my dad, I was young. I went fishing probably even before I could walk. but you know, my dad put one hook on the line, we put the bait on the hook, put it in, and we caught one fish. And I did this for years and years and years. As I grew up, I said, you know what, when I throw my um, fishing rod and I put that line into the water, I want to catch more than one fish. I can't do this one hook, one piece of bait, one fish. So I, I created this line that had seven little lines hanging off of it with hooks on it. And then I would put it in the water, and I would feel the fish biting. And when I would pull it up, I would have multiple fish on the hook. And I remember one time when I threw it in, and I pulled up seven fish at one time. And I, and I always think about this when I think about how I really build my brand, is, is that I'm throwing out hooks and bait to pull people in to follow me and follow my brand so that as I'm selling them something, I've got them hooked. Right? So I want you to think about today 
how you are going to hook as many people as possible to follow you, to follow your brand, so that they can help you achieve your ultimate goal. Dr. Sanyan, I'm so excited for you guys. I'm, I thank you so much for inviting me here today to be here with everybody on this Uplift Leadership Call. And I'm excited for them. I'm excited for their six-figure business. You want to know why? Because they deserve it. Thank you so much. Wow. <clears throat> Powerful, masterful, incredible.